Hey everybody, my name is Jay Karchi. I'm the community manager at Bandai Namco Games America. We're here at E3 2013 with Dennis Lee, the global brand manager for all Tales of games. So we are here talking about Tales of Zillia 2 and Tales of Hearts R. So when are those games out in the West, Dennis? So uh, Tales of Exilia 2 comes out on August 19th, um, just a couple months away, um, and Tales of Hearts R is coming out this winter. Awesome. So for Tales of Zillia 2, what are, what's new here at E3? What are we talking about? So um, we have a brand new build that we're showing. Um, it really shows off the fighting system in Tales of Exilia 2. Um, so for Exilia 2, brand new um, Luger uh, Kresnik, who's the main character for the game, he's got a lot of cool new abilities that he can do in battle. So he's able to wield uh, three different weapon styles. He has um, he has twin blades, he's got the sledgehammer, and he's got guns. And like uh, instantaneously in the middle of battle, you can swap between these different weapon styles, and then you can use those to take out your enemies. Would you say the combat is uh, very similar to Exilia, or is there a lot of new differences? So um, at its core, it actually is very similar to Exilia. Um, the development team, all the feedback that they received from gamers and fans was that they really liked kind of that, uh, that kind of that teamwork aspect that was added into Tales of Exilia. So being able to link with other uh, people in your party and fight alongside them, um, and then also being able to perform link darts. So all of that stuff comes back for Exilia 2. But then um, Luger with his uh, new abilities, he's able to kind of uh, change it up a little bit. So for Exilia 2 specifically, I've heard a lot of people talking, myself in particular, about it looks, the trailers that we put out, the gameplay so far, it looks a little darker. Um, I think it's bringing in a lot more interest from some of the core RPG fans who've never played a Tales game before. Maybe they played Symphonia back in the day and they never came back. So what would you say to those people who are maybe interested in picking up Tales of, uh, for their first Tales of game or the first one in a long time? Yeah, so um, with Tales of Exilia 2, um, it has two brand new like main characters, protagonists. Um, so El Marta and Luger Kresnik. Um, they're brand new to the series, and the main story for Tales of Exilia 2 actually focuses primarily on them. So um, if you haven't played any of the other Tales games, or even Exilia 1 yet, you actually can get right in and um, you know, you're not going to feel like you're missing out on anything. Um, but at the same time, if you are a fan of the original Tales of Exilia game, all of the uh, characters from the first game, they do return, and they have their own kind of character chapters that will highlight and focus on those characters specifically, um, but all of that stuff is completely optional, so you can decide to do those um, you know, later towards the end of the game. If you don't want to do them at all, you can actually just skip them completely, but if you do do them, it is a good meaty chunk of the game um, that uh, you can experience with those original characters as well. Very cool. So let's switch over to Zillia 2. You can check out those awesome trailers on our YouTube channel. But let's switch over to Hearts R. So kind of give us a 10-second synopsis of why people are excited about Hearts R. Why, why was the internet talking about it? Why did all of a sudden everybody happy that Hearts R is coming? What, what happened there? Um, so Tales of Hearts R, um, it, it, in, in and of itself, it's just, it's just a great game. Um, so for in the Tales of franchise, Hearts R, it is one of the flagship titles in the series. So um, in the past, some of the handheld you know, iterations of the Tales of series, they weren't really kind of full flagship titles. So they might have been like, you know, oh, we took like six different characters from, you know, popular from other Tales of games, put them together, kind of changed the mechanic a little bit. Okay, this one's going to be a dungeon crawler or this one's going to be a fighting game. And um, so they were kind of more of side games, but uh, what Tales of Hearts are, it is a flagship game. It has all of the production values of any of the other main uh, installments of the series. Um, it has uh, animation by Production IG, one of the two um, you know, animation studios that does all the animation for the Tales of series. Um, the story is great, well-crafted, fighting, you know, fighting system. So, you know, with all of that, you know, it was a, a great Tales of game that people really wanted to play, so, you know, that was why. <laughs> Talking with fans every day, I'm just super excited we're bringing something over that they've been asking for for the longest time. So how, tell me about how the Tales team views community feedback. Are they tired of people asking for their, for their games all the time, or are they, do they really enjoy uh, hearing from their fans? Um, so the development team, you know, they, they love their fans. They know that, um, you know, the fans are the reason why the Tales of, you know, series is so popular, both in Japan and overseas. So they definitely, um, you know, they definitely listen to, like, everything that's said from the community and everyone. And, of course, you know, they're trying to address a lot of the different things that come in and consistently come in. 
And, you know, of course they can't do everything that's being asked for, um, but they do try and work on some of the major things. So, um, you know, one of the big things was, you know, it's taking so long um, between the Japanese release and when the Western releases come out. And so um, over the past, uh, I'd say, two years, um, they've been working really hard to kind of shorten that time frame. So, you know, we've gone from, you know, over two years with, I think, Exilia 1, and then now we've gotten it down to a year, and then we're going to get it um, to less than that for Tales of Zisteria. It's going to be in the same year as the Japanese release. And so they're working on just uh, shrinking that time down as much as possible. Um, in addition, they're also trying as hard as they can to bring as many of the Tales games over to the fans. So um, they're working on bringing out more titles, and of course, there's continues to be more more titles coming out in Japan, so they're really trying to play that balance of, you know, going back and bringing out newer, newer, older games that haven't come out, but also bringing out the new games as well. That is very cool. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in the Tales world to check more out on our YouTube channel, and thanks for tuning in. Great, thanks.